The key is to understand the potential of each alternative and see if you can direct your business in the short term. Again, aside from cutting back on your expenses and finding out how you can strategically save more money, it is also important to diversify your income. Welcome to Peaceabilities here in CBRC.TV. I'm your host, Arman Benko po of the Kolaiko Foundation and KSK SMP. Po. Uh, same time last year, we are in the middle of the lockdown, the strictest uh, unenhanced community quarantine level. Sadly, we are again at it. Uh, as of today, I think isang buong linggo pa uh, na ECQ. Uh, many of us uh, oh, were caught by surprise last year uh, nung bagong uh, lockdown uh, as we do not really know what to expect or how to react. Uh, but by this same time, last year, April, March 16, nagumpisa yung uh, uh, ECQ last year, mga around this time, mga tatlong linggo na, of ECQ, we somehow got a grip already. Uh, the danger, uh, our concerns, our health, relationships, work. Yung iba nawalan ng work, yung iba nabawasan ng uh, sweldo o kinikita. Uh, schooling na iba, socialization completely, uh, da- naging term pa nga yung social distancing. Uh, pero mas tama pala yung physical distancing and of course our finances as we all experience and are still experiencing firsthand the spread of COVID-19 has changed the global landscape um, affecting our financial professional and social environments the sudden disruptions caused by this public health crisis are presenting economic challenges with growing repercussions. More than a year has passed. Ramdam na ramdam pa rin natin. While some factors affecting uh, financial well-being are beyond our control, financial literacy can help people better manage their finances uh, through times of hardships and times of prosperity. This is our topic for tonight. Managing personal finances amidst the pandemic. Okay, ten things to consider. Ten things. Uh, first, government agencies or government assistance. Know what help or assistance does the government offer. Kailangan alamin niyo yon. From the testing, contact tracing, uh, quarantine facilities to the financial assistances and ayudas. Uh, one has to be aware of it all. Now, even the vaccination programs, marami, may iba't ibang LGU na. Uh, alamin niyo yung uh, vaccination program ng inyong LGU. Uh, marami na akong mga kakilala, may kamag-anak pa, eh, na uumpisa na silang mabakunahan. Uh, from the LGU, national government, or probably uh, from your employer. Uh, alamin niyo rin mabuti the kinds and levels of quarantines and the protocols attached to it. Be aware. And of course, sundin natin, ha? follow these uh, protocols. Number two, look for alternative, additional, new sources of income. Alam nyo, uh, pwera sa pagtitipid or aside from cost savings, there are still ways as to how you can generate income even when at home. Almost everything's being done online anyway. Uh, pinili, pinilip at uh, minadali uh, nitong pandemic, itong uh, pagtanggap sa anything and everything online. Even the practice of our faith, just last week, Holy Week, bisita iglesia, confession, nakapag-confession pa ako, Stations of the Cross and the Easter Mass were all online. 
ang daming online job opportunities. Ang i-consider nyo are those which you can do in the evenings or weekends if you still have your current 9 to 5 job. Marami po sila. Whether it's online tutoring or writing for blogs, copywriting, tawag nila, you're bound to find one that fits your skill set. All this don't require much monetary investment. Of course, uh, computer, uh, yung oras ninyo, lalo na kung sa pag-aaral at pag-explore uh, kung ano yung mga online job opportunities available. And uh, ideally, a stable internet connection. Sabi nga sa Google, ang inahanap na manggagawa ngayon, tatlo, skilled, equipped, and connected. Uh, hindi na masyadong inahanap kung uh, ano yung uh, ano skwela ka natapos uh, suma cum laude ka ba uh, diploma mo transcript tatlo ha? at ito ang first set of keywords natin first set of our keyword first set of keywords ha? keywords number one skilled equipped and connected eh, yung mga skill analytical skill, mathematical skill, and communication skill. Yan ang top three skills na hinahanap ngayon. And then, equip, meron kang uh, computer, gadget, and of course, a stable, decent internet connection. If you are a business owner, pivot. Pivot, pivot, pivot your business. Yan ang second keyword. O yan, mabilisan tayo ngayon para makuha nyo na agad. First keywords natin, Skilled, equipped, connected. Second keyword natin, pivot. Sa mga business owners, yan ang uh, uh, natutong on ninamnam nilang uh, salita starting last year. Pivot your business. Some restaurants have restarted their operations to pave way for takeouts and deliveries. Cloud kitchen is the new thing now. Uh, narinig ko na ba yan? Cloud kitchen. Yung uh, branches nila, yung komisari nila, para nag-isa na lang, tapos uh, doon ng uh, uh, center of operations para sa deliveries and takeouts. Groceries and supermarkets are now available online, uh, which allows consumers to save time instead of pumipila. Marami akong nakita yung sarili kong anak, fitness trainer. Ha? If you're a fitness trainer, Consider holding live workout sessions for your clients. My son and his uh, uh, friends are doing that right now. Uh, meron silang isang grupo. They get uh, students subscriptions para sa kanilang online fitness classes. The key is to understand the potential of each alternative and see if you can direct your business in the short term. Again, Aside from cutting back on your expenses and finding out how you can strategically save more money, it is also important to diversify your income. Dati, diversification, narinig lang sa investing. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Ngayon, multiple sources of income ang kailangan ngayon. Relying on a single source of income can be a threat to your financial stability. Yun ang inahanap ngayon eh. Stability. Hindi na nga yung, <clears throat> excuse me, hindi na nga yung mataas na kinikita. Stability sa source of income. So, kailangan marami kang sources of income. Especially if the crisis is preventing you from earning your usual income rate. In addition to building your skills and consolidating Uh, your knowledge base. Think about how you can leverage your skills to start a side hustle. Monetize your expertise and diversify. For the last time, as mentioned, there are plenty of online job opportunities you can try. And surely, you'll find one that best fits your skill set. Number three of the top uh, 10 things Uh, for you to consider managing our uh, personal finances amidst the pandemic. Kung hindi nyo mababayaran, nababayaran lahat ng pinagkakautangan nyo or mga bayarin, contact your lenders, your creditors. Ask for assistance. Ask for advice. 
and have a mutually agreed payment plan. Kausapin niyo po sila, huwag niyong tatakbuhan. Some programs are already in place to help stop evictions or foreclosures. So whether you are a renter or a homeowner, contact your landlord or mortgage servicer right away and ask help. The same goes for providers of uh, auto loans, personal loans, including credit cards. I have experienced it myself this pandemic. Creditors might and actually do offer reduced payments and fees, uh, deferred payments uh, sa maraming mga uh, dahilan na maayos at uh, tatanggap-tanggap na dahilan. Kanina, tumawag lang ako sa Globe. Globe. Ang una nilang uh, binangkit pagkatapos ng uh, Good Day, Arman Benko, if you are having problems with your Globe, Uh, postpaid plans, payments, and etc. Please, let us know. Sinasabi na nila agad, pag kayo tumawag sa Globe, lalo na kung postpaid, pagkatapos ng uh, uh, greeting, yan ang unang kagad sasabihin. Kung may problema sa iyong pagbayad, sa iyong uh, mga bayarin, eh, please talk to us, press number ganito. So, uh, kausapin nyo yung mga pinagbabayaran natin. When you talk with your creditors, ito ang uh, importanting tip. When you talk to your creditors o yung mga pinagbabayaran nyo, miskin na your landlord, be sure to take notes. Huh? Take notes. Write down, number one, yung date and time na nag-usap kayo. Huh? Kailan? Para alam nyo kung uh, uh, ano ang panagbabasihan. Kunin nyo yung pangalan ng kausap ninyo. Sama nyo na rin yung designation niya, ano ang position niya, and yung contact number or contact details like email. Ano ang eksaktong pinag-usapan? Take note of that. Uh, huwag magtipid sa detalye. Ha? Tapos alamin nyo rin, lalo na kung mga bayarin sa utang, alamin nyo na rin paano maaapektohan ang credit standing nyo uh, kung paano nila ire-report sa mga credit bureaus. Kasi um, ayaw nyo maaapektohan yung credit standing nyo uh, dahil nag-delay, na nagpaalam naman kayo, nag-defer, or uh, nag request kayo ng pagbawas sa interest, penalties, and other charges. Ilatag, i-record, i-document ng mabuti, ng kompleto uh, yung planong napag-agrihan nyo. Once you agree on a plan, ha, put together a letter summarizing your discussion and mail or at least have it documentarily received. Yung meron kang prueba na na-receive ng office at nung kausap ninyo. Okay? Huwag kayong maglalay na nag-usap lang kayo over the phone. And then, monitor your monthly statements. Credit card bills, uh, sa sa mga bills ng mga utilities, Meralco, kung uh, napag, pinagbigyan kayo na i-wave, uh, check nyo pa rin yung mga statement of accounts nyo to be sure you are receiving the assistance and the uh, agreement that you have discussed. Okay? Number four, Revisit and uh, recreate your budget. Ang uso na ngayon ay yung tinatawag na priority budgeting. Ano yun? Priority budgeting. Anything that is not a priority, you will need to be deferred o ipagpapaliban as much as possible until this crisis is over or your financial status better. The pandemic has made the... Uh, Uh, all our futures a little or more uncertain. So in crisis, it's better to be conservative in your expenses. Be strict, be more strict with your budget allocation. Prioritize survival needs such as food, rent, and hospitalization. At the start of the pandemic and quarantines, last year I remember because I was also uh, almost guilty of it, Uh, empty grocery shelves. Yan ang makikita mo. Ha? Uh, it, become, it became a normal in the first uh, uh, couple of weeks as more and more people resort to panic buying. Before you get into that impulse, ha? make an assessment first of your current supplies. Uh, tingnan nyo yung size ng inyong household and buy only enough. If you are living with an infant, uh, toddler, 
disabled person or elderly, you may want to prioritize their medical or dietary needs first. Um, yung pamahala naman has already set up protocols so as not to hamper the supply of goods. So there's no need to hoard canned goods, disinfectants, uh, when you still have full cabinets to last you for months. Not only will your wallet thank you, but also your community. Kasi there is enough for everyone. During uh, home quarantines, stay at home, it's, it's uh, aminado tayo, uh, mahirap, uh, hindi ma-miss yung mga bagay that we used to enjoy when we are freely going outside before, like going to the movies or dining out. But why not use your free time at home and pick up a new skill or hobby? Work on that long overdue passion, project, or try out new recipes. Practical skills are a top money saver. And you literally have no excuse not to do it. Nasa bahay lang tayo eh. At least karamihan sa atin. Skills that can save you money if not earn you money. Pagluluto. Yung mga handyman stuff like carpentry, plumbing, even aircon unit cleaning. Uh, dati nagbabayad tayo, baka pwedeng pagtsagaan natin na uh, aralin at tayo na maggumawa at hindi na tayo mapagastos. Painting, music mixing, marami na pwede tayong gawin na hindi lang tayo mayayamot dahil nasa uh, bahay tayo, nakukulong tayo sa loob ng bahay. Take note, what's the point of uh, reducing your usual expenses if you will keep on using those delivery apps? Di ba? Yung milk tea, buti na lang, di ako mahilig doon. Yung milk tea, that can wait. Okay? Uh, that can wait. Cutting back on certain expenses altogether might not be an ideal situation. Walang gusto sa nagtitipid. But if it means staying financially afloat during this crisis, then by all means, save, 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 save. Uh, it is also important to prepare for anything financially. So you can make sure that the life you built for your family is secure. In a way, uh, the enhanced community quarantine, itong kasalukuyang meron tayo ngayon, makes overspending a minor issue. Most retail, retail stores, department stores, are closed. Only stores stocked with essentials, food, medicine, uh, toiletries, ang may mga parapyano, ang mga merong customers. Tapos may curfews pa. These curfews limit the time we spend in public spaces. Pag nasa labas, mas prone tayo gumastos. But it is still helpful to remind ourselves to pause before we spend. Reevaluate our budget and make basic needs our top priority. Priority budgeting. That means setting aside enough money for food, rent, utilities, and your health before you even think about the luxuries like new gadgets or branded sneakers and apparel, even your trips and vacations, wala muna yon. Living frugally right now will make a difference in how well your finances bounce back from this health crisis. Number five, build or rebuild your cash on hand, emergency fund, cash reserves. Ano ba itong uh, tatlo na ito? Uh, emergency fund, yan yung ginagamit pag merong emergency, life or death situation. Cash reserves, yan yung ginagamit kung katulad ng iba, karamihan ngayon. No work, no pay. Hindi makapasok dahil ECQ. Walang sweldo. San kayo bubunot? Hindi sa emergency fund. Bubunot kayo sa cash reserves. Kaya sana last year pa, nung uh, tinuturo na natin, lumalabas tayo sa social media, build your cash reserves. Two, three, six months of cash reserves. Meaning, kaya nyo mabuhay spending only in your priority budget. Kaya nyo mabuhay tatlo, lima, anin, na buwan, miski na walang perang pumapasok. San kayo kumukuha ng pera pang gastos? Sa cash reserves. Hiwalay ang emergency fund sa cash reserves. Ano naman yung cash on hand? Uh, two days ago, hindi pa natin alam na may extend ang ECQ. So doon sa mga 
no work, no pay, two days ago, akala natin makakapasok na tayo sa trabaho. Yung pala, uh, 24 hours ago, sinabi, ECQ pa rin tayo for the next seven days. Dapat yung panggastos natin sa susunod na dalawang linggo, dapat hawak na natin. Yun yung cash on hand. Dahil hindi natin alam kung biglang mag-ECQ muli. This is completely beyond our control. Ang lugar kung nasaan tayo mag-lockdown or yung lugar ng ating pinagtatrabahuhan. So, please, consider the three. Cash on hand, pera na hawak mo na para sa uh, gastusin in the next 15 days. Emergency fund, kung life or death, napatakbo ko sa hospital, may aksidente, emergency fund, and cash reserves. Cash reserves, kung nahinto, nabawasan, yung inaasahan mong money in, bubunot ka sa cash reserves. Okay? Um, although it's difficult to think about future emergencies when you are in the middle of a crisis, consider making a financial recovery plan for when things get back to normal so that you are more prepared to handle the next emergency that may arise. In a time of great uncertainty, having a financial fallback is critical. Workplace closures could mean layoffs and cuts. If you are one of those affected, start with your reduced level of income or current assets. Categorize your budget expenses and strategically, strategically spend your money. Since you'll be cutting back your usual expenses while at home, add what you can to supplement your emergency budget to help you cover the next month's expenses. Remember, no amount is too big or small to make a difference. 